Good morning and welcome to this video. Um, my name is Laura, if you didn't know that, and today I want to talk about the 21 books that I want to read in the year 2021. Um, I got one stack of books right here next to me. Those are the books that I already own, um, but there's a lot of books that I don't have with me right now. I think I want to work on those that I have before I buy new ones, <laughs> because my shelf is kind of full with the books that I haven't read and not that many that I have read because I kick out books on a regular basis, books that I don't think I will read again and therefore my shelf is kind of empty. Um, so first up are the books that I have here with me. Um, the first book is Duck's Newberry Report by Lucy Ellman. Uh, <laughs> this is a very thick book. I think it was uh, shortlisted for the Booker Prize in 2019. And um, this book is just one giant long sentence. So all the way, just one long stream of consciousness. Um, I think it's about a housewife from Ohio. Um, and I think it's, I think something it's also kind of political. I don't really know that much about it, just that it's her stream of consciousness and I think it's gonna be a beast to get through, so I'm curious where this is going, um, but I'm looking forward to it. And thankfully I have bookmarks that can mark the exact sentence where you are, so that will come in handy with this book. Next I've got Tigana by Guy Gabriel Kai. This is the German edition from, I think, 1995. Um, this has not been reprinted in German, so I had to buy those books used off the internet. Um, Tigana is actually just a standalone, it's just one novel, but the Germans decided to split it into two books. Um, the second book I can show you, it has a naked lady on it, um, so, so I'm just gonna cover her up a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for this one, I've heard many good things. And um, I think I'm gonna read it soon. Uh, next we get Arusha and the End of Time by Roshani Chokshi. Um, this is a middle grade fiction fantasy, I think, um, about a girl from India, maybe. I don't really know. I just know that it's inspired by Indian culture and I've heard many good things about the series and I'm really excited to read this book and I think it will be the go-to book when I'm finished with this 1000 page long literary fiction thing. <laughs> so then I got The Silence of Bones by June Hoor. Um, this is, I think it's a fantasy novel set in, I don't know what kind of era, oh 1800, Joseon. So it takes place in Korea and I think it's a fantasy novel, a YA fantasy novel. I don't really know that much about it because I don't... So sometimes I don't really look into books before I buy or read them. Um, but uh, this sounded interesting so I bought it and I think that, that it will entertain me. Uh, and then I've got Woven in Moonlight by Isabel Ibanez. Um, this is, I think, based on Mexican, South American myths and legends folklore. I'm not really sure, but it, I love the cover and I'm always looking for something that's not based on Western culture, Western European culture. And so I thought I'd look into it. I thought that there's a sequel coming out this year, so um, maybe if I like this one, I'll buy the sequel as well. So then I've got Light of the Jedi, <laughs> Star Wars. Um, so I like Star Wars. Uh, I'm not that kind of super fan. I enjoyed the newest, the, the latest movies as well, in contrast to some other people who really hated them. I didn't really care, I'm not that into the lore and into all those little details. I just enjoy people beating each other up with some lightsabers, so that's what I'm in for. And there's people with lightsabers on the cover, so... <laughs> um, then I've got 
Legend Born by Tracy Dion. Um, I've heard so many good things about this book. I think everyone's reading it right now and so I bought it as well and I'm looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, it's about a girl with magical powers, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I've, I'm really bad at remembering uh, synopsis, 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 the synopsis of a book that I want to read. Um, so, but I think if you uh, so I think everyone's heard of it, and I'm looking forward to it. So the next one's actually kind of cheating, um, because I put down continue all the series that I've already started. So that includes, but is not limited to, the Greenbone Saga, which I'm currently reading the first one. I, but I will finish this um, soon, I hope. And then I want to continue on with the series uh, because I really like this so far. Um, then I've got the Mistborn trilogy. This is the second book in the series, The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. Uh, I've read the series before. This is a reread. And when I'm done with this, I will move on to the third one. Then I've got God's Grave by Jake Kristoff, which is the second novel in the Nevernight trilogy. I think this is the UK version and I have to say I really like those covers. Yeah, so I read Neverlight, I liked it, I think it was a bit edgy for my taste, but I like the world building so I decided to give the second one a chance and um, I think I'll start it soon when I'm in the mood for it. Next I've got the Deva Part trilogy, I think that's what it's called. This is City of Brass, the first one. Um, I've read this like a few years ago, I think. Um, I'm currently rereading it um, this far in. Um, so I think I'll finish it soonish. I hope um, I get easily distra get distracted easily by other books that are like, oh yeah, I want to read that now. I'm really a mood reader, so. Um, yeah, but um, I've already ordered the uh, second and the third book in the series and I think I'll have them with me soon. And another series I want to continue is Stormlight Archive. Um, I've read... Uh, what's the first one called? Um, the thing, the first one and this, What's Brilliant, I read both of them. And I'm rereading, so I finished the first one, and so I want to reread this one next. And then I want to go on with Oathbringer and Rhythm of War, which I haven't read. So I think I have some catching up to do, and that's what I want to do this year as well. And that's all the books that I have here with me now. Next are the books that I don't own. So I've got House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. Um, which everyone, uh, everyone, so which everyone's raving about. I've heard so many good things about this book that it's so comfy and nice. And um, I've read the Extraordinaries by the same author, which is a YA fantasy novel about superheroes. I didn't really like that one. It was an okay read. I think I enjoyed the writing style because it was easy and. Um, the this, this book wasn't hard to get through, but I didn't really vibe with the protagonist because it was just an, an angsty teenage boy and I'm not an angsty teenage boy and I couldn't really identify with him. So um, I didn't enjoy that book as much, but um, I think I'll check out House in the Cerulean Sea soon. Uh, next I've got Gearbreakers by Zoe Hannah Mikuta, um, which I assume is about giant robots and girls, um, which is the thing that I see on the cover, so I don't really know much about it. It's coming out this year. Um, I don't think it's coming this soon, so I've got some time to read other things, but from the cover alone it looks interesting and so I will pick it up when it's out. Um, next up I have A Clash of Steel by C.B. Lee. I recently, I think the, the cover was uh, revealed recently. Um, the, I really like the cover artist, so, and it's, um, I think, a queer retelling of 
treasure island with two girls um so count me in yeah <laughs> i think it's coming out in september so there's a long time to go before i can get my hands on it um but it's on my list and i think i want to read it this year uh, next up is The Infinity Chords by Akemi John Bowman, which I think is about death and dying and the, the afterlife, maybe, I don't know, I like the cover. I think I read the blurb and then I put it on my wish list, so um, yes, that's why it's there, but it sounds interesting, so it sounded interesting, I forgot, I kind of forgot what it was about but I will buy it and I will read it. Um, then I've got Pieces by Helen Oyeyemi, um, which is about a magical train ride, I think. <laughs> um, but the cover looks uh, kind of fun and I like magical trains. I don't know if that's a trope or not, but I really enjoy when people get on a train and the train doesn't take them where they want to go and they either the train is magical or they end up in a magical place i don't know i, I really like that so i um i'm looking forward to that one then i've got persephone station by stina leicht which is probably not how you pronounce her last name in english but leicht is a german word so i'm gonna say it that way um this is a space opera which i think the book's already out i've ordered it but I don't know when it will arrive. Um, it's I think it's also a queer book, so yay. And the cover is awesome, so looking forward to it. Um, next up I've got Ruin Song by Julia Ember, which is I think a YA fantasy novel with lesbian romance representation in it and the cover is great that's why i put it on my list i've ordered that one as well and i think it will arrive in the next day soonish um don't know much about it the cover is nice looking forward to it <laughs> so i'm sorry i have to say again the next one i don't know anything about it's black sun by rebecca roanhorse it's about fantasy stuff. I don't know. I've heard people talking about it, that it's a good book, so I put it on my list and I will want to read it in 2021. So then I've got Ella So by uh, Darcy Little Badger, which I think is a fantasy novel, but I can't really buy it right now, so my local bookstore doesn't have it. I think I can't even order it off, off Amazon, so I think I have to wait until they make it possible for me to buy this book again. I don't really like to read ebooks because I tend to not finish them, so whenever possible I try to get a physical copy and um, I think I'll wait till I can get that one. Oh, next on my list is Every Heart a Doorway by Seanan McGuire, which is the, the first book in the, I think, Wayward Children uh, series. I've had this on my list for quite a while. I've always wanted to get into it, um, but so to be honest, um, th I think the price scared me off because those books are kind of expensive for the fact that they're just some short novellas. Um, so I've always just pushed them away. I, I don't mind uh, spending money on a book, so that's not the problem, but there's, I think, I don't know how many, five or so of them. and. Um, if I like the series, then I will want to buy the other books, and I think that's an investment. Um, there's a German version um, that, so it's one book that includes the first three novellas, uh, so maybe I'll buy that one. Um, but I want to get into the series this year. So next I've got Sandlin Ascents by Josiah Bancroft, which is a fantasy novel about a guy who's wife goes missing and he has to enter the tower to find her and that book sounds like a really weird um, creative fantasy book so I've had this on my list for a while as well <laughs> so now I ordered it just a few days ago 
um, I think I'll get it soon and then I want to get into it because it sounds really cool. Um, then I've got Where the Crawdads, Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. Um, I think this one was on the best seller lists last year everywhere and um, I thought about reading it. Some people say it's really boring, others say it's the hottest shit ever. Um, I want to find out, uh, just to know. And I think I'll be reading the German uh, version of it, um, so I can hand it over to my mother when I'm done, because she likes to read these kinds of books as well. And yeah. And the last book I've got on my list is the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan. Um, I read the first book a few years ago. I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was phenomenal, um, but I enjoyed it. So now that the um, Amazon Prime series show is coming up this year, I want to get back into it so I can be one of those people who say, yeah, but it's so much better in the book or <laughs> I don't know, whatever. So I don't want to be spoiled. So I just want to know what's going on before I get into the series. Uh, I'll be reading those in German as well because um, my girlfriend expressed interest in the series and she doesn't like to read English books so I thought I'd get the German version of it um, so she can read them um, when I'm done. Yeah and those are the 21-ish books that I want to read in the year of 2020 so um, I don't think I've got that many very special fancy books on this list it's all I think kind of basic but um, those are the books that interest me at the moment and um, um, so but I'm really excited for this kind of challenge because I'm a mood reader I just pick up whatever I want at the moment um, that's why my stack of unread books is really big and just to make sure that I can pick up uh, some kind of genre whenever I want um, but I try to stick to this this list, list of books um, so my goal for 2021 is to read, I think, 50 books and even with those 21 there's still room for some moody mood picks in this year and yeah, I'll see where it goes. <laughs> so uh, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video um, and if you want you're always welcome to comment on what you want to read this year and if any of my picks are your picks as well and then we can discuss maybe I don't know so that's it for today have a nice day morning evening whatever time of the day it is right now where you are and um, see you next time <laughs>